Hello and welcome. Thanks for joining me. Today we're going to talk about um, how to make better use of Microsoft 365 using free booking app. Let me give you an example of what the booking app is. So normally what happens is all of us um, in the business, uh, we use a calendar app to schedule our meeting and appointments with uh, the client, associates, vendors, uh, and the peers as well. Now, usually what happens is we play a ping pong to see what is available and who is available and when it is available, it suits me and doesn't suit me. Um, this whole game of ping pong goes on until we find a slot and then we book the um, time to meet up. What if you just have to send a link to your clients or associate and say, hey, um, this is my booking app. Can you please um, book the time and date that suits your convenience? Um, easy as that, embed that into your email or um, send it um, in the communication chat uh, with associates or client or vendor. Let me show you how Microsoft Booking works and also I'll give you a sneak peek of Microsoft 365 uh, productivity apps and how many uh, application is available at your disposal as part of your subscription. So I'm just quickly sharing my screen here. Let's go to the first tab here. I'm logged into Microsoft 365 portal and you can see how many different applications is available. Now there are tons and it's hard to make use of every uh, application that is available uh, as part of your subscription. But let's see uh, whatever best we can make use of it, right? So um, let's start from the booking here. So if you click on the booking, which I've got uh, on a second tab here, uh, for our company, I've created about four or five booking apps uh, or booking calendar, you could say. So this is Junilog SMS, which is the software um, that's an on-site services looked after by about five engineers. And then uh, this one here, uh, which is 60 minutes free IT review is uh, the scheduling calendar uh, for my time, right? So let me see if I can open this one here. You can see this is an on-site IT services. And if you, let's go through each one by one. And if you see this is the calendar, it shows the bird eye view of who's booked at what time and stuff. Um, this is the booking page, so you can just customize the look and feel of it, how the customer will react with it, and what data will be collected. So if you go here, it automatically creates the, the booking page. You select the option that, you know, do not archive uh, in the search engine, otherwise search engine will keep on coming and uh, populate it. And, uh, you know, people who can find this link um, from the Google search engine, they will hammer your calendar and they'll keep on booking you. Right now, customer data usage here, you can just add your privacy policy in terms of use and stuff. You can have a um, default scheduling policy, which means like, you know, the calendar event, whether it's 30 minutes event, one hour, two hour, half a day or full day. So depends on the services that you provide. So say for example, an IT professional that, um, you know, the field engineer at our place will need to go for two or three hours. So I would book for two or three hours, but uh, the beauty therapist will have only for one hour. Uh, lawyers will have an increment of 15 or 30 minutes and so is the dentist. So you could decide the increment of the booking. You could decide how far ahead you can book. So the 48 hours lead time. So that means like, you know, they cannot book anything before 11th of uh, May in my calendar. Right? And the maximum calendar option that you can give is the 60 days. So this is again the, one of the options that is important for you. Now this will notify to the, the staff that has been assigned to this calendar and it will send a meeting invite to the uh, client as well uh, who is the attendee and they can definitely schedule, cancel, reschedule, the whole link will come to them, right? Um, allow customer to choose the specific person for the booking. So here what happens is if you, I click that, they will be able to uh, see which engineer they can schedule for their work. Now, this is very useful when uh, for the law practices. This is very useful for the beauty salons. This is very useful for the IT engineers as well or the consultants, right? 
Now, I'm going to untick that because uh, we don't want uh, our clients to use uh, requesting same engine over and over again, which becomes very difficult for us to spread our work to the other engineers. So I'm going to untick that from here, right? So here you can have customers. So you can see literally who are who's booking that. So you will see the list of the customer. Now this can also be used as a lead collection engine, or um, you know, and then you can measure it. So say for example you. Um, create calendar app um, and then you publish that onto your website and the services give you an example of the, the law practice so the calendar services for immigration employment issues or um, the kind of anything and so forth so on um, now there could be as many services and you want to measure how many clients are booking for uh, different services or you want to measure how many clients are booking for uh, different engineers or the the hairstylist i'm all measuring you know data analysis can happen from this right now i've just created for the sake of the example and you'll see that it's only one person has booked in there right now here you can assign the staff I've added about all five engineers, and from there, I've added every one of them to the list here, right? Now, this is a general that they will be able to book from 8.30 to 5, um, but you can change from 9.30 to 3 or whatever suits you. And then individual staff, I can go and change the availability of individual staff. Say, for example, 9.30 onwards, right? So... Uh, I would say that this person is available only from 9.30 onwards and, uh, and save the changes, right? So everyone else is available from 8.30, but Dave is available from 9.30 onwards. So it's quite versatile in the way. Um, here is the option for you to customize. So, you know, your calendar page, and I'll show you how it looks like. You can add the details like, you know, your address and your hourly rate and the currency and website URL and a few other bits and pieces. Add your logo. You can add your business hours. And um, you can automate a few other bits and pieces as well. Like, you know, if you want to send the details of this to any other systems um, internally that you're going to be using, right? So. Um, and you have here the integration with Power Automate, which is out of the scope for now, right? So you see here that I've got example of the on-site services for six um, staff, um, five or six staff. This is for me. This is for one of our software consultant. Now, what I'm going to do is here, I'm going to show you. Um, So if you see this here, that's the same link that has been opened, which is for the Junior Logs demo, right? So if you see the theming here, the logo is different, the name is different. This is completely customizable. You can see here, Explore Junior Logs features, how it can assist and read more. So it shows you exactly the pitch of the software. Um, the next available date, the time slots, um, the attendee has to add all the details that we require and then you book that time, right? Now, if you see the second one here, it's completely different. This is for the individual engineers, um, and the engineer will be available from 9 a.m. onwards from 12th uh, May. So if you see this here, um, it looks like he's completely busy on Thursday, and Wednesday, so nothing is showing up, right? And then the time slot as well, if you see that, it's available, right? So um, that's limited time. Um, uh, and then here you can see um, uh, different engineers you can book, but there is no option to select which engineer. You know, I think I went through that system before. Yeah, we'll explore that later on. So here you go. Oh, this one here. So if I go add it there now. Sign staff, allow customers to choose particular staff. If you if you click on this option and if you save it, right, and let me copy this and I'll show you how that works. If I share this link to the staff, uh, sorry, if I share this link to um, uh, with our clients, they should be able to see um, the availability of all our engineers and they can select which engineer to pick and date and time as well right uh, and submit that details there so this is one of the example of that so 
just to recap um, quickly, the webinar series that we are going to focus is uh, how to make uh, better use of Microsoft 365. We have explored as part of it Microsoft Booking app. Um, I've explained how I've created different uh, calendars for different services and the engineers. So one is for sales, one is for software, one is for the on-site services. Um, and then I have one or two few older versions that I've used so many times. Um, all right, uh, which I've upgraded and changed right now. Okay, uh, I've explained options of, uh, you know, when you create a calendar app, you've got options of, you know, adding the staff, adding the services. Each one will have a different unique URL. That link can be added up into your website. So let me just quickly show you a website here as well. And I've embedded that on one IT blog that we recently wrote. So this is that Microsoft Booking app. And if someone wants it, this is a blog. And if you can see this here, it will go into this booking calendar. Now I can exactly measure how many people have booked and interested in learning about Microsoft Booking app, right? Um, so that's the idea of it, that you can capture a lead and measure it um, per person, per services, or per facilities that you are providing it. Uh, I hope this is, uh, was informative to you. Um, please feel free to reach out to us if you want to set up your Microsoft Booking app. If you need help and assistance, we are happy to help. And yeah, I look forward to uh, talking to you um, at some stage uh, with uh, another topic. Thanks very much. Bye.